Okay, we're at Site Alpha. Oh, I didn't check to make sure no one's going through a silo. Already. Someone's already launched a nuke. Because there's only three nukes per server. So I don't want to dive through this entire thing, get to the end, and then, oh, guess what? There's no nuke there. Let's listen to the Overseer. Overseer's log, missile silo alpha. No one's here. Not even any military survivors. It might be for the best. I don't think Vault Tech asserting jurisdiction over the nukes would have gone over well. But it also means I'm locked out. Access is restricted to the highest ranking officers. It's not going to be easy to fool. If we can't secure these sites, my god. The automated factory in the silo? Okay, and I believe there's one at each location. Or you can only claim one and it changes the name of the tape to either Charlie Bravo or Alpha. So hold on, I'm going to run up and I'm going to check all three. Alright, we made it to site Bravo. Nope, there is one. Okay. like at Site Alpha. My guess is that Site Charlie will be the same story. But I need to be sure. I still have no idea how I'm going to get the military credentials to gain access. My hope, my fear, is that some other group of survivors tried to figure this out as well. We'll just have to keep looking. Okay, we're going to run on up to Charlie. Okay, we've made it to site Charlie. Down here. There's an officer somewhere. Activate it. Let's make sure there's no other enemies here. Well, none close by. I know there's other enemies here. Overseer's log. Missile silo Charlie. I've now verified that all three missile silos still have fully operational security. No way inside yet. But I'll scour all of Appalachia if I have to. Okay. Now we can dive into the missile silos. Alright. Back here at South Site Alpha. Go up to the elevator. I'm gonna use the hand scanner. Security system alpha. Stand by for security inspection. And this uh, starts the quest mission countdown and then Alpha Gamma, not Alpha Gamma, Alpha Bravo or Charlie. Which is. Was it a side quest? It is. Just inside missile silo alpha, a laser grid blocks the way forward. I need to find a way to bypass the security system. Find a way past the laser grid. Let's see. 
Oh! I will probably die a lot, because again, this character is not really prepared for all of this. You already dead? And the robots are infinite. Foyer, Foyer Terminal. Executions. Ascendant. Something that's got to be government. Resident Assistant Control. Standard Robot Interface. Yada yada. It's basically saying you cannot turn the robots off. Ha ha. Thanks for activating the terminal. Ow! Will be administered swiftly and fairly. You must be bloody stupid. Oh god. Why did Mr. Handy's hit so hard? Yes, I know. Now I may have three uh, fusion cores, which is why I'm not using the power armor. Because I will... I will need the power armor later. So I don't want to use it now. Shoot me. It's not good for me to be in this room because those are robot spawners. Okay. Oh, we'll worry about that card in a second. Um wanted to find how each of the locations has a terminal at it and I'm trying to find that terminal about the people who were inside every hit they do to me just cripples because you're not supposed to do this alone they wanted they fought so hard for like, oh, play with other players, play with other players. But I don't, I don't play with other players. I'm a solo boy. As most people, from what I've seen, are. I thought I was about to say it was spawning more robots. Um, where is this terminal? Resident Terminal. Found it. So this is Alpha's Resident Terminal. Uh, Dereliction of Duty. Now, I know many of you are upset about what has happened, uh, but I will not accept the ac accusation that what I did constitutes dereliction of duty. Could I have read the training uh, materials more thoroughly? I would argue that the greatest strength a general has is the ability to think on one's feet. And besides, the launch codes were designed to thwart the enemy, not one of Uncle Sam's best and brightest. Did I make a mistake? I admit that I did. Did I enter the codes incorrectly? Yes. Did the system consume my keycard, causing it to be rendered useless to anyone inside the facility ever again? We have to accept the truth together. Just because our orders regarding this silo have been made redundant, does not mean we cannot do our our duty elsewhere. 
We will leave at 600 hours tomorrow. Final message. General didn't read the training, has ordered us out, so we're leaving, like good soldiers. Hope, if you're reading this, that America has been rebuilt and the general's been court-martialed posthumously. Humously. I did say humorously. I think it was missing a letter. Okay, we're at Site Bravo's residential terminal. Waiting to see if that robot's coming in the room. The general is AWOL. Top brass never showed. Completely missed the party. Uh, what are we supposed to do now? Not like launching the missiles matters at this point. We're heading out. Let's see if there are civilians we can help. Private Jeffers is the only one who's decided to stay behind. Logs. Private Jeffers. Uh, duty comes first. I can't believe everyone's leaving. What if this war isn't over? Reds could uh, be ready to launch another salvo any day now. Who's going to protect America from that? We need to assume this is the only missile silo we have left as a deterrent. Hearing things. I was making my rounds the other day, and I swear I heard something. A voice, maybe? Could be a Chinese infiltrator using some kind of stealth technology. Uh, I'm going to scour this whole silo top to bottom. I'll flush him out. Seeing things. <coughs> uh, almost thought I saw a shimmer in the air from the Chinese infiltrator stealth tech. I mean, I think that's what I saw. It's been a few weeks since I heard him last. Why hasn't he attacked me? Or why hasn't he attacked me yet? Waiting for the right moment, I bet. Maybe if he waits long enough, uh, he thinks he can get the slip on me or slip or get me to slip about how the codes work. Jokes on him. I don't even know. Feeling things. It's not normal to feel your heart rate all the time, right? Sometimes it's so empty here, I, I swear I can feel my brain working. Like there's this current of electricity just above my scalp. And colder in here, hotter. I can't stand to sit in the same chair twice because, I don't know, it feels weird to feel my body heat on the chair. It's me. I figured it out. The Chinese infiltrator. The reason I couldn't see him or hear him is because he's me. I'm the infiltrator. I must have been brainwashed and I don't remember. Well, they aren't going to win this round. I said I would flush that commie out and now I have. Now it's time to turn that commie over to the appropriate authorities. Once I can find them. So Jeffers went insane from being in isolation for too long. And, uh... I'm guessing he walked outside and died of radiation poisoning. Okay, site Charlie's residential terminal. Lockdown triggered. The system has detected a possible radiation leak from one of the missiles. All personnel are to evacuate the site pending a full investigation. Lockdown lifted. Daily system maintenance has identified an error in the radiation sensors. Lockdown has been automatically lifted as of October 24th, 2077. That's it. That's that's the only lore from all three of the uh, the sites. <laughs> Is um those those three terminals. All right. So with that done, let's go ahead and grab these. Did they change it to where it doesn't just start infinitely spawning robots? to make things easier for solo players. It's been a long time since I've gone through, and I remember on my main character, I would go through here, and I would kill them, but they would just respawn. Um, so it was just kind of pointless, so I would not bother killing robots and would just run through the silo doing everything until I got to the end. Okay. Security station terminal. Uh, security protocol general. Automated nuclear missile silos are maxim maximum security sites requiring class 6 special security clearance 
access is strictly restricted to one military specialists the mission mich, the missileers assigned to the silo for a six month rotating tour of duty two officers of rank of9 or general or above the pre-authorized missileer escort who must accompany them at all times any other individual attempting to enter the facility or found inside without an authorized escort is to be met with lethal force. Security Protocol, Security Station Alpha. Security personnel posted for this station are to 1. Perform remote monitoring of silo grounds. 2. Dispatch, dispatch security teams to, pro to patrol, investigate, and resolve incidents on the grounds. 3. Monitor facility entry and egress. Or register ABIS biometric identification cards with a security system to grant access to the rest of the facility. Stand by for orders. Uh, nope, they're spawning robots. I think I hear the sound of the loading up. Five, perform other security duties as assigned. Residential assistance control. And yes, haha, robots spawn. I thought I heard the loading. Like, it makes a noise when it's, um, powering up to spawn a robot in. I thought I heard that noise. Okay, so we need to, uh, just inside, yada yada, I need to create and register a biometric ID card with a security system. I have a video, I will link it below, that will show you every location of the biometric scan ID card. There's, like... 30 different locations it can spawn in. Um, and I believe it only spawns four, four at a time. And Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie are identical missile silos. So the only thing that's different is the resident terminal, but everything else, once you get in here, is copy-paste. All right, so we did see one of the cards. Uh, first, we're going to go here, though. Oh, good. There's one in this room right there. That saves us a hunt. Biometric systems terminal. Uh, operating instructions. Do, uh, the Advanced Biometric Identification System, a BIS, is responsible for authenticating military personnel at facilities requiring Class 6 security clearance. Fabrication of an ABIS ID card requires, one, the user's encrypted biometric data obtained from an IBS, IBS, ABIS biometric scanner, and two, a blank biometric identification card. Old or malfunctioning cards may be erased using the fabricator's card eraser. After fabrication, all ABIS ID cards must be registered with the relevant security systems. Contact your security officer for assistance. Fabrication. Fabricate biometric ID. Initializing. Failed. No card found. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this card here. Let's erase it. Oh, wait. We didn't read this on. Oh, that's the same. Let's erase it. Oh, hey, there was two in here. Now it's spawning robots. I hear that. Fabricate biometric ID. Found a blank one. Failed the biometric data. Oh, we need to um, go. We need to go uh, scan ourselves onto the system. So that's what they did. They just made it to where it's a step by step thing now. It'll spawn the robots in when it knows you're about to go on to step two. A level one security event is in progress. Oh no! Flame there are. Dang it! Because it staggers me, or else I could have killed him. What? No, it's gotta knock me off balance. I don't know how a flamethrower knocks me off balance. 
but fine. Where'd you go? Now constructing additional security units. No, no more. Hold on. Let me scan myself. Let's go, go, go. Now let's fabricate the ID. Okay, now let's go register the owl. Oh, no. No, switch, let's switch. Oh, dang it. Okay. Swipe our card. Registration complete. That doesn't incident resolved. Standing down. So that stops the robots in this room. That's it. That's all that does. I should explore Missile Silo Alpha and make my way to the control room. Everything else stays the same. Okay, and as you can see, all the stuff that went haywire in here, like trying to escape. See what I mean? They're still hostile to you once you leave the area. Kind of makes no sense. Well, I know it's because we don't have an escort. Like that's the lore reason. No. Forgot there was an assaultron in this part. Okay. That requires a terminal to get that door open. It's really it's just loot here. Like there's no notes, there's no hollow tapes around this area. So you don't have to worry. I don't know where it's at. Yeah, there's an Assaultron around here somewhere. But as long as it doesn't come sneaking up behind me. No, there's not. Why am I taking rads over there? Like, I don't have good armor either. I didn't bother getting armor for the character. <laughs> so that's another one of the reasons why I am a bit... Like, if I die, it's just going to spawn me back at the beginning of this. But I'm also trying to get through this before other players come in and ruin it.
for me, forcing me to have to go through it all over again. Um, Warning. Warning. Reactor breach detected. Security lockdown initiated. Bulkhead doors have sealed to limit contamination. Engineering team, proceed to the reactor control station to initiate repairs. You got it. Monitoring station terminal. Let's hack this. Experience, so we know it won't end in ED. We know it won't end in ING. Shot in the dark. Um, engineer control. Shut down those units. And that went through because it froze there. Activate decontamination arch. Oh, there's the lead engineer. Why am I over encumbered? Oh, my armor probably had stuff that removed weight. more hazmat suits and a charged laser rifle 10 millimeter oh and a stealth bullet all right find a way to end the reactor security lockdown uh, re reactors have broken down flooding the reactor area with radiation and triggering a security lockdown i need to find a way to end the lockdown security station terminal Two lock. Okay, it glitched out again. Covered. Okay, so it can end in ED. There we go. Protectron control. Oh, so that's all I did. I turned off protectrons. Look door control, and I already picked the lock. So essentially, what we need to do is repair. Uh, pipes. No! Where are you? There are two of them. why I can't make robots on my side. Oh, there was one in this room. Okay. Radiactor control terminal. Radiactor reactor. Suspicious activity to security personnel immediately. Power system overview. All automated. Oh god, he was right there. All automated missile silos utilize a high redundancy power infrastructure capable of drawing power from the civil civilian grid. On-site reactors and on-site fusion mega cells, or and on-site, why did I read that? It's so weird. 
in the event of a power system failure. The Silas powerhouse will automatically switch to the next available power source. Each silo has been equipped with one class 8 fusion reactor and three class 4 fusion reactors connected in a closed circuit. These reactors are capable of serving as the silo's primary power source indefinitely. God, it's so hot. It's almost like I'm in this reactor. Power system repair instructions. In the event of a reactor breach, an automated security lockdown will seal the powerhouse facility to limit radioactive contamination. Authorized engineers are to report to the reactor control terminal to initiate repairs. Due to the high pressures present in, the, in a Class 8 reactor, the reactor system must be shut down before repairs can be attempted. Due to security and operational readiness requirements, systems will automatically restart after a period of time dependent on the current DEFCON status. Repairs must be completed within the allotted time. Shut down the reactors. Oh, how far over? Reactor shut down. Do I have? Verifying engineering credentials. Failed. Please stand by for security inspection. Okay. Security incident in the reactor area. No. no! God. No armor. I guess this is the point when I should have put on power armor, huh? Where is it gonna. Is it gonna drop me all the way at the beginning? Of course it's gonna drop me all the way at the beginning. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait, can I get in, though? Yes, okay. I thought it was in lockdown, so it wasn't going to let me in. Um, this is actually ex Excavator, not... <laughs> not Raider. See, a smart person would have gone through and taken out all the turrets me forgetting that I'm not on my strong character I did not do that instead wait I turned off protectrons I, uh... Yeah, I turned off the, the protectrons. Okay, I need to... I can't fight them. I need to turn off the rest of these things. Am I missing? Oh. So I just got to do it again, right? Oh, but it restarts it. Are you serious? I didn't know it was going to restart the whole thing, the whole process. It's um, not one over there. I 
Yeah, this is what I normally just do on my other character that's just a higher level, so I just don't care. I just run through it. Oh, yeah, cap stash. Oh, I actually never knew all that stuff was back there. And then I just run through, ignore all the enemies. Get everything turned off. So who's got the time to waste? On any of that. There we go. And then it's optional to restart the reactors. I will still look through these other rooms, though I know there is nothing. There's nothing here. Oh, well, there's this little scene of Jangles using a computer. There's that. Ammo, some 5-5. Five five. already burned through one of my three fusion cores because it probably wasn't full. Thanks, buddy. Oh, there's no point in activating the security terminal because it didn't save the other robots from not getting up. Okay. And there's no other lore on it. It's literally just stuff about security. Oh, I thought this was the way to go. Oh, I've only got one fusion core left. Uh, this is the way to go. No! Yeah, those are my only two pieces of armor. Because I never bothered with the character. Oh, come on! You weren't awake a second ago. Security command terminal. Nothing of importance. I now have a broken leg. How good a heal. Yeah, as I said, there's not really any lore here, because they just expect you to run through it. So it's just if you want to try to find stuff, you're free to do that. Uh, oh, we were already in here. This was the decontamination room. It just now opened the bulkhead door. Got it. Look through there. That's where we're headed. You can see it. Doesn't have to be. 
You can lower it. That'd be nice. Very nice. Unauthorized personnel detected in the operations center. Activating mainframe security protocol Omega 12. All personnel defend the mainframe and secure the area. Mainframe integrity at 100%. Now constructing additional security units. Okay. So, the mainframe has locked down this operation center. In order to break through, I need to destroy the mainframe. So you can either click on them to destroy them, or shoot them to destroy them. Operation Center Overview. The Operation Center is responsible for operational security and readiness, external communications, and, in the event of a nuclear conflict, coordinating tactical and joint strike operations with other military units. The Operation Center is controlled by a Robco GX9000 mainframe with a high redundancy multi core design, capable of fully auto autonomous operation. While powerful, Individual mainframe cores are fragile and subject to damage or burnout. Replace cores or replacement cores have been stocked in the storage facility to meet ongoing maintenance needs. So that's just a way of explaining why after you break these once, they respawn and you have to break them again. a lot faster. There we go. Man, this this nuka launcher is great. For being armorless, it is amazing. Fabricating replacement security personnel. And you don't got to. So I can kill him before he mutates. Which again, how's a robot gonna mutate? Hmm. Now how are you gonna choke a legend? Oh, with the robot blew up. Of course it did. It means I'm gonna spawn all the way back at the beginning. And I have to run all the way back here. Yeah. So there are no checkpoint spawns. Hi, robots. They're still aggressive, but they're not hostile to me. Oh, why did I open that door? Man, 
we ain't we ain't got time for that guy. It'll probably follow me all the way back, but we ain't got time. Where did you come from? It's not what I was doing. I was doing that. Thanks. Okay. I can finally loot the oh I already did loot that guy. Don't need that. So there was probably a bear scene here with this car. But, uh, I destroyed it. Don't worry about Sector Gamma. We'll take these missiles. So there's more team report to the operation center for immediate repairs. There's more than enough to destroy. As you can see, there's still more here. But we've already dropped it all the way down. So we're good. A mainframe access terminal. Try the ING. Okay, we know it doesn't end in ING. Marvelous. Doesn't end in an S. Gentlemen. Already read this? We've already read that. Director control? Oh, it's just another thing of we can't control the robots, so I'm not going to bother reading that. There's the missile. You get to see it. Baseball grenade. One more grenade. I don't need to pick that because we were already in that room. Okay. Another mainframe access terminal. I believe they're all the same. Let me just get onto this one anyways just to see. I've already forgotten um, which ones I've tried, huh? Commit knights so it could end in an S. Oh, my tries reset. Okay. Yeah, they're all the same. So no point in me checking the other one. We're just going to move forward after. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did it come from? Is it just standing over here? Because it didn't come up the stairs. So it was just standing in that corner. Oh, my gosh. That got me. It's so hot. It's still 102. It's 1030. And it's still 102 degrees out. Hey, we'll 
take this, grab some caps, grab some shotgun ammo. It would be nice if it gave me a fusion core before I go into this next area. Do I have left leg armor? Might as well, right? Since I'm not wearing any armor. I'm wearing like two pieces of armor that aren't really that great. The current drop level is red. Okay, we're still at get to the control room. Another dead one of them. Oh, now we got to repair a mainframe. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this core here. Now. Security incident in the storage area. Oh, I can't close them? Can close them. Man, there's a core there. I believe you need 15? Maintenance office's terminal. Pistol. Shrugs. Storage room main manager control. Uh, again, another robot. You cannot turn off the robots here. So let me make sure there's no more um, cores in here. Security. Before I move forward. You can also bypass it, but I'm going to show you the core way. There's three. Centribot. I know. You can't fit through the door. So, ha ha ha. Assembling reinforcements. Oh! No, it's gonna drop me at the beginning. I should have switched to the shotgun. Yeah. Figured if I'm gonna pass by here again, because chances are I'm gonna die again. Might as well get that assaultron out the way. Okay. Let's run back. Whee! This is why you go in prepared. Don't just go in because you want to get through it. My butt is hurting from sitting for so long. I will say that.
And yeah, again, I'm gonna be very upset if I get all the way to the end and there's no missile to fire. <laughs> Did I kill the assault run? What? I think I hit the freaking edge of the stupid shelf. Stupid rocket. Cause I just I wanted to clear them as soon as possible. Projectrons are easy. I could have just ran in, shotgunned them up, but I wanted to get rid of them ASAP after talking about how I was gonna take it slower. Cause my butt hurts, and I can't stop in the middle of this. Doesn't someone else will just show up? I gotta I gotta go through it. fight through it. I gotta remember where I'm going. This way. The Assaultron's still in there, too. Unidentified intruder oh. And turrets, as well. No, no! hoping she would come towards me. It doesn't hit things on the ceiling. Why is she not coming towards me? No! Don't cripple me! I don't want to run back in here. Oh! No, no! There's another frame. There's no core or freaking, yeah, fusion core in that. There's another frame. No, 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 no. Dang it! She's here. And I didn't reload. Another core. Security teams to Sector Delta. Me again. So soon. Storage room access. Door. Let's try to find some cores. Why? 
does that sound for? I can, there was a, a powerful enemy nearby. Wait, we've been in here before. Oh, we've unlocked the door to get... Yeah. So now I don't gotta run too far from the beginning. I can just come straight here. Oh, there's another one. I need to get to that turret. Now constructing additional security units. Okay, I shouldn't have killed it then, because that was the last enemy in the room. Now, more enemies are being created. Some core. Find a way to open the security door. Okay, facilities mainframe. This thing. Not reading all that gibberish. A level four security event is in progress. Uh, office storage area has broken down. I need to repair or find replacements for its damaged mainframe cores in order to restart it. Did I find any already fixed? Unscheduled maintenance activity in the storage area. Requesting security response. <laughs> Although, yeah, the ones you find are already fixed, or you just take the 15 off and repair them. That, that's how it works. So I went through and found some. There's no way I only found four. Or do they count as junk? Probably count as junk, and I dropped them when I got killed. So it's fine. We'll we'll repair, I guess. Mainframe core. These are our circuitry and our steel. There's one right there too. We'll just put them in. It's the faster method, but security incident in the storage area. What the heck? Facilities mainframe. Continue. Open the door. Come on, Hal. Security incident resolved. Standing down. There's the silo. Yep, this is the other side of the area that we were on. Nothing back here. Disappointedly. Okay, let's walk right past a missile. Up the stairs. And just right into a Robobrain and an Assaultron. Why not? Because why not? But here, look, you get to enjoy this nice little bear scene. Have a 
little uh, military bear. Little sniper bear. Might as well grab these two uh, military ammo bags. Security station terminal. These are all the same. I'm not going to read them all. There's no unique stuff on them. Intelligence. Overlook. Conscious. Commander control. Same stuff as always. But, um. Control room active. All stations standing by. Proceed to the launch control terminal to initiate the launch prep sequence. So this begins this long, annoying thing. It's like a little survival wave thing. No, not that. You're just going to get swarmed by waves of enemies while having to defend robots. I mean, I absolutely hate it, but... No, it staggered me! to make sure all the turrets are gone. didn't say anything I mean she's I guess an, an assault an assassin robot so why would she want to say and she's legendary because of course she is oh those hit me Oh, I'm under a turret. Yep. I thought I got them all. Now she's going to be back at full health. Oh, I'm sweating so bad. It's so hot. The temperature has not gone down at all since being here. But I opened a shortcut. So I'm happy about that. Okay, we gotta find her and take her out. And then we'll begin the wave. Where is she? There she is. Okay. 
Are you fucking serious? It didn't make the noise. Normally there's a noise if they're going to explode. Yes, just die off. Come on. It goes and then it blows up. So that you know to get away from it. It really does not want me to just get through this as quickly as possible. And yes, I'm only like level 48. But it shouldn't be this difficult for a solo player. And again, I'm probably just more annoyed and upset because it's 102 degrees and I am cooking. I have all of these stupid turrets I need to take offline. Drink all my Nuka-Colas. Yes. I don't even know where you are. Stop staggering me. Are there any more turrets? I'm shooting point blank and shots are still missing. We good now? Good now. Okay. <laughs> we can initiate launch prep. All right, I've entered the control room. In order to begin the launch sequence, I need to initiate launch prep. Launch prep overview. A launch prep is the automated pr procedure required to test, arm, prime, and ready a missile for launch. Once launch prep has been... Set robot speed spawn. Been initiated, the control room's robot fabricators will assemble the launch crew chiefs who will proceed to their designated stations. At least one launch crew chief must be operational in order for launch prep to advance. Once launch prep has completed, launch authorization system will be unlocked. Following a successful launch, automated missile reconstruction will begin immediately. Launch prerequisites. Automated missile silos employ interlocking fail-safes to prevent an accidental or malicious uh, nuclear launch. Before a missile may be launched, 1. DEFCON 1 must be declared. 2. A missile must be assembled and staged. 3. External communications are offline. Launch prep must be completed. And 4. Final launch authorization must be supplied. Uh, launch crew chiefs. Launch crew chiefs are specialized protectrons with the encryption keys and operating instructions required to prepare a missile for launch. Although each crew chief is op optimized for its role, redundant pro reprogramming allows launch prep to proceed as long as at least one crew chief remains operational. Albeit slower. So the more you keep alive, the faster this process goes. If a chief is destroyed, the associated fabrication terminal can be used to assemble a replacement. So you're, what you're going to be doing is they're going to be spawning enemy robots to kill these. Don't get why. Uh, they're going to be spawning chiefs. And you have to defend the eight, I think it spawns eight chiefs. 
and if one dies, run over and spawn a new one, or just stay there in the middle and hope you can defend the other chiefs that are not dead. In the event of a security incident in the control room, all security units have been programmed to destroy the crew chiefs to halt launch grab. I guess that's the reason why. Sure. Uh, launch authorization process. The launch authorization process is classified. Your attempt to access this file has been logged and reported to the silo, com silo commander for disciplinary action. A missile launch or, or missile uh, reconstruction. Automated missile silos are equipped with an advanced robotic construction system. Following a successful launch, reconstruction of a new missile will begin immediately. If necessary, the silo will enter an automated lockdown state for the duration of the reconstruction process to allow for decontamination. Automated maintenance and security sweeps. During this time, all personnel will be instructed to evacuate the silo and remain in the designated shelter area. Initiate prep. Launch prep sequence initiated. All personnel take your stations. All personnel to stations. Assembling launch crew chiefs. Launch control chief active. Proceeding to station. All sanctioned launch in progress. Is Security real, guys. teams to the control room. Security teams to the control room. All personnel to your stations. I saw me spawning one. I distinctly remember it spawning like eight last time I ever did this. I choose to add more? Can I spawn one here? There it goes, okay. So it does start to spawn more, just slowly over time. Got it. Okay, you're coming out. You look different than the other guy. Oh, they all look different and mangled. Come on, guys, move quicker. I know somewhere around here is a, a Lieutenant Gutsy. Wait, is that one of mine? How did he die? getting shot at. Launch prep at 
Yep. And that's just a long, slow process. Waiting for all these guys to do their jobs. So there's telemetry. There is guidance. That was a propulsion, but here's our propulsion. Targeting. Oh, so that that's what their appearances look like. And then this is the chief. Oh, control. They're all chiefs. Five percent. Oh, now they're sending out the big guys. Devastators that drop nothing. just collapse dead but that completes mission countdown okay oh they don't just collapse dead protect and serve so now it's armed we can do what we came here to do insert a nuclear key card, key card. Key pad has been created. and then walk over here to our keypad let me get my my code up and going. So, the one for the week that I'm doing this 74293332. Access granted. Then we can activate this. Decide where we're dropping it. So it's telling me we got to drop it at Fisher Site Prime so that we can solve the scorched issue. So we're going to drop it at Fisher Site Prime. Oh, dang it. You don't drop it on Fisher Site Prime. <laughs> I just. You can tell I don't drop nukes a lot. Um, so you, you don't want to drop it right there because then that's going to take up all of this area. You want to drop it further down. But I didn't think of that. I was I'm exhausted from doing all this. And my butt really hurts. Um, and now I'm over encumbered from all the stuff it just dropped in my pockets. And I've reached level 50. I mean, it doesn't matter. The people that are on the server, I don't think we're going to be able to take the Scorch East Queen down. But you'll you'll see that in the next part. Oh, we're missed at launch. Because again, I'm over encumbered and can't get out in time. Sit on the toilet. I have, I have, I have excavator power armor. Which means that I can fast travel and go and watch this nuke drop. Oh, 
busted. This took nearly three hours. And now the queen's there. Oh, these guys are gonna die unless they've got good enough power armor. But yeah, as I said, with the levels that are on right now, I don't think there's any way we could take the queen down. But um, you'll see that in the next part. All right, and then after you've launched a nuke, or I think now it's just permanently always here. Um, a new holotape appears which was the way of letting you know that the Overseer was still alive. So if you do her personal quest, it kind of leaves you thinking that she's dead. But if you do the main quest, um, so this tape was originally not here until you completed the main quest and launched a nuke. Um, so we'll go ahead and listen to that. Close the door, even though the bear can't get in. So it's Overseer Log, Nuke Launch. Manipulate. 